So here I am and I'm watching you do your work. When people don't know you, it's so easy for them to just make shit up about you and to dehumanize you. How simple that is to do. The fact that somebody would say you're not a scientist. I mean, all I've ever done is science related stuff my entire life. So, I don't know, I guess the point is do I really care what people I don't know think? And probably to some extent I do, but I don't, I don't dwell on it. I guess it is easier to discredit someone that you have no information on because you can just say anything about them and there's nothing to refute it. I mean, I feel privileged I got to work in it, so. In some respects, I shouldn't be allowed to complain. I, I've given the example of a, you know, transporting one, a small modern-day portable nuclear reactor back into Victorian times and giving it to the scientists there. Now, back in that time, they didn't even know about radiation. So they'd see a machine making power, kind of like what we're doing, and marvel at it. Wow, it's producing a lot of power. There's no smokestack, there's no coal, there's no fuel. How is this thing working? And they start taking it apart. Well, they'll all die. As soon as they get close to the core, people that come in to check on them will all die. And no one knows, nothing touched them. So they're going to think it's haunted or something. There's some evil forces or something in there. But, um, I mean, who says that can't happen to us? The first time Barry showed me the reactor in operation, you know, here it is on the bench. And he said, you know, try and touch the sphere on top. And you couldn't. Your hand was pushed away. Just like, you know, two light poles of a magnet. It's the exact same feeling, but you know, there was no metal involved. And that's shocking. That's really shocking because nothing does that. That's an operating, powerful force field. So just seeing something like that immediately starts that whole chain reaction in your mind going, wow, wait, if you can do this, there can be force fields on tanks. There can be things that lift off the ground. We don't have jet and rocket engines anymore. That means there's, wait, there's no use for cars. I mean, boom, the whole thing changes the entire world, the economy, everything would go end on end just if we had an answer to how that machine worked that I was sitting there touching. The potential for us to re-understand human experience is... Right, right. There's, I mean, there's life somewhere else. It's a big deal. It's an important part of human history that we found that out. It was awesome but fearsome at the same time. Thank you.